If you're looking for a budget microphone for your gaming and streaming, then I got the perfect one for you. It is very budgety coming in at $35. And even right now, it's like a 12% coupon on Amazon. So you might want to take a look at this. And what I'm talking about today is just pull it out right now in my face. The Uhuru. What? What is this? The Uhuru. Uhuru. Uhuru? Uhuru? How do you say this? If you know how to roll your R's, you go to Uhuru. Uhuru? Like a bird. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who are not going to be able to say it the way I do. Unless you got a Hispanic tongue. What? What does that mean? The Uhuru or Uhuru microphone kit. It is the UM2S, which includes a cool little budget boom arm that goes with it so you get the full kit for 35 dollars plus a little coupon right now if you click fast enough on the links below so looks pretty cool looks like a little bit of the dm20 is it by mono and has a built-in noise cancellation feature very big topic here when we're talking about fitting the circumstances your environment of your room and you don't have software or you don't know even how to use software <laughs> noise suppression this has built-in noise suppression we're going to check that out and see how good that is because some of these are pretty trashy so we'll see but otherwise budget option let's see what the quality is like coming in at 35 dollars and yeah let's jump right into it connect it mount it to the table and see what it sounds like at least in comparison to something like this which is 120 dollars so Let's spin the camera right now. And we're gonna spin right back in because we're not going away. We're gonna unbox it right now in your face. Here we go. Oh, instructions always fly out every time I open it like this. So obviously you need your instructions if you've never used a microphone in your life. This is entry level, definitely for beginners. So make sure you get yourself edumacated. Let's just peel off this thin layer of foam and see. I didn't even know I got the white one. <laughs> what do you know? The box is black on the cover image and I got the white mic. Cool. Let's see what we get. Just for your viewing pleasure, this is what it looks like. Can I see? These are the components in your box. You get your microphone, you get a boom arm and some cabling. I can't see because I'm looking at the back of the box. Some USB. You can totally take off this cap and have a dual USB-C, USB-C to scenario. So you can connect it to a phone, MacBook, anything that takes USB-C, even an iPad. All right, next up, we get ourselves a, wow, this is cute. A tiny little windscreen here, a little pop filter for your explosive peas. And I'm just somehow aligned it right between the circle. What? Of course, wow, everything is in white. The clamp for the table in white. Fantastic. We have our cool, wow, this thing weighs like a bag of chips, but has a cool little mesh here that covers the RGB, I suppose. Um, it's definitely plastic all build. You have a little bit of aluminum with the mesh. And on the top, of course, you're gonna have your RGB controls as well as your mute and noise cancellation button. The USB-C is on the back. Fantastic, so it stays well out of your way when you're utilizing it. And you have a 3.5 millimeter jack on the front for your headphones. And on the bottom, is that a gain knob? That looks pretty sneak, sneak. What, you're sneaky, stop sneaking around. Has a little symbol to show you which way the gain is supposed to go. Thin side for low, thick side for high. Okay, no more contents in the box. Let's just chuck that to the side like that. Cool little boom arm here for connecting to the top of your desk because you're not gonna connect to the bottom of your desk. What? All right, and it looks like you have yourself a, looks like a 5 8 inch screw mount there, little tread. So that takes the big boy. Just take this off like, like, so, like so. And you can just use a 3 8 inch tread for all my tickets and gamers there with some little holes. <laughs> what? All right, so let's get this bad boy mounted and test out this audio. Let's do it. Just so you can see how the actual windscreen mounts on this, there's like this little slot in the front you'll see on the bottom of that. 
And that piece is going to align with a slot that you have here on the front. And it just slides right onto the front like this. Easy enough to snap on. And this is the little view you have. Well, what it looks like. Let's just take a look at what the full range of this boom arm is. You can pretty much go all the way straight forward. Uh, if I don't break it. Yeah, this thing will go straight across your table like this. And I don't know if it, even, it goes even further than that, but I don't think you need to go that much lower. And as far as ugh, the way it goes going backwards, uh, the full range is stops right there. I don't know what angle that is. 35 degree angle. And this will obviously go straight up like that. And that is the full range you're going to get out of this. Now let's bring it back down. It has a nice grip to it too. So if you wanted to mount another microphone on this particular boom arm, it can take some weight. Obviously this is cardioid USB only microphone and the capsule is in the front. So you will be speaking like this through the wind screen. So that way you can mitigate your plosives and stop popping around. We're going to make a switch to the USB mode right now. All right. And here we are in USB mode with the Uhuru USB microphone. Not bad. I hear the USB ness of it because well, I'm so used to using, I guess, a little bit higher end microphones that it's quite apparent to me when quality shifts. What do you think of this quality in your face? If I were using it in proximity, let me move my mouse out the way. Proximity test with the USB. Now I can see my levels here in OBS. It is going up pretty high. I'm in the yellow. I have not yet touched the red with the current vocal tone and loudness I'm speaking. And this is the quality I can hear myself in real time. If there was a delay, I would say is 0.001% because I can hear minor delay, but somewhat negligible. So you can talk to yourself pretty much in real time and not have an issue with it. But I think the quality right now is pretty good for this little tiny minuscule capsule that's built into this. Does it compare to something like something like that? Probably not, not even in USB mode, but it's pretty clear right now. What I want to do is I can hear it in my headset through the monitoring port, but it doesn't always sound like that when you're recording or when it's going out to your stream and you play back the video that you've recorded doesn't always match what you hear through the port. For the most part, the quality sounds good and the levels are decent, but let me do a little video playback and let you know what the USB audio sounds like because you know you know what okay so first impressions off of listening to it via the playback through the recording i keep having the mouse in the shot take it out right now first impressions is that the audio quality is actually not bad not a lot of bass right let's just get that out the way sounds very processed for the most part but there's also a natural sound to it, to it as well. Process, a little bit of naturalism in that there's not so much bass, right? Cause sometimes these microphones can, you know, kind of exaggerate the bass, at least like in real life. So it sounds good. The high ends are good. I do hear a little bit of that hissing as I'm talking. My S's are even in my, through the monitoring, through my headphones. So it's not bad for $34.99 to $35. Okay. And you're getting the entire kit. This is definitely an awesome start right here. Nice product so far. Not the biggest noise mitigator, but it has built in noise cancellation techies and gamers. That's right. Ooh, that sounds good right there. So if you're talking closely, you can get a good audio reproduction here. I did tap the red talking this close and it does sound much more clear. Yeah. So this is the Usually with all microphones, this is the best quality you kind of going to get out of them when you talk at this range, provided that you don't yell and scream in it. So if I talk loud, do I distort? Yes, I do. I just clipped it. All right. So sounding good so far. Let's just go through some of the things that we normally do. Plosives. Here we go. Blowing into it. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. I don't hear it really any distortion in my plosives in my ears 
do monitoring. So I'm interested to see what that's like in playback. Great job at mitigating plosives. Now that's with this little pop filter we got going on, but let's take that off and see what it sounds like without it. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher. Profusely, yep. That is serious. What about blowing away? Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. This is doing a fantastic job. Um, this little metal. That's right. This is metal. Metal windscreen and the perforations are very fine. Noise rejection doesn't sound so great in my ears, but off axis noise rejection. Let's just keep talking and turn the microphone to the left like this and it's probably going to pick up reverb bouncing off of the wall that I have right here. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's so bad. Okay. Pretty good for eh, some noise rejection, although it seems to be picking up my fans quite nicely. So what else can we do with this microphone? So we have things on the top, some buttons. We have a mute button. turns red when you tap it you don't have to tap it hard and it doesn't make really any noise when you're trying when you're muting your microphone and then we have next to that we get to noise cancellation in a while they the mute shares the same button as noise cancellation but next to it we have our rgb so let's take a quick look at the colors we can get here Red. Um, I hit the button. I can't see. Looks like an orange. A little bit of a yellow. Got a green, blue, turquoise kind of color. Oof, dark blue looks nice. A uh, little gradation here going on, but there's two types of gradations. There's that one, and there's this one. Now, let's get into the noise cancellation feature. By holding that mute button, there's like a little split symbol with the mic and a little bit of sound waves. You hold that button and it applies the noise cancellation. All right, here we go. Hear that? Now I don't hear it. Wow, that's strong. God, it cut my voice off and everything. Now when you put it on noise cancellation, you're gonna see that it um, turns blue turns blue on the front and noise cancellation is processing very high that's just like a mid to high level of noise cancellation and if i'm talking back here i'm going to get chopped off and when i turn my head to talk like that forget about it i'm definitely going to get chopped off so that noise cancellation is brutal <laughs> my lord if you're going to apply noise cancellation it's because you're going to talk like this at this range so that it picks you up and does not chop up your vocal audio yes it does it's pretty good at noise canceling probably too much for my taste anyway and you're gonna want to keep this guy close when you have that noise cancellation on very good for i guess zoom calls if you're like having a call and you have like six kids in the background just jumping around on trampoline because that's what people do in life <laughs> what there's no software to do any kind of EQing or anything like that. So what you hear is what you get. Definitely entry level if you're just if you just need your voice heard clearly. You don't need two hundred dollars to get yourself started with streaming and gaming. This sounds perfectly fine in my eardrums. All right, and if I bump this up, has a good nice level of gain. Has a nice big pickup. So if I sat back like this. It's going to pick me up and it's going to pick me up quite nicely, even from, I don't know, I'm almost about a foot away from it. I'm going to apply a little bit of noise cancellation to this mic, right? Just to so you can see the difference between a good noise cancellation and a very strong, harsh one coming from this Uhuru microphone. So just a basic noise suppression. Nothing needs to be changed. And just by clicking it, you hear that noise. noise cancellation is applied what does that sound like in your face techies and gamers does this sound pretty good i don't know i can hear the noise cancellation applies to the microphone recording that you're hearing now but you can't hear noise cancellation going through the port right here into your headset so 
that's the only thing with that but otherwise you tell me what do you think i would say for a 35 dollar microphone i'm quite impressed by the quality that i'm getting from this including it coming with its own kit with its own boom arm right so it's pretty i mean it's a tiny boom arm compared to the, this gigantic one i use here for my um, ono pd but i need this because this microphone is heavy but for all my bougie techies out there looking for the best of the best don't look at this microphone and stop and don't expect that because oh i can't sing with it, it doesn't sound great it doesn't sound better than this microphone it's 35 bucks and for 35 bucks you're getting a bang for your buck take it easy take a back seat and for the guys in the back you heard that right should i repeat it no i'm not so no real complaints other than that the noise suppression is pretty harsh it could have they could have dialed it back just a little bit so it doesn't get my voice so choppy when i sit back a little bit if it were me knowing what i know now with the quality that i'm hearing from this uhuru microphone and sizing it up next to the dm20 i probably would go to here to save myself a good five to six dollars right the dm20 is running about 40 bucks 41 depending where you get it and it's coming with the kit so this is definitely better bang for your buck with similar if not the same maybe even a little bit better depending on how you hear it audio quality yes with all of the same features so yeah all right just thought i'd come here and save you a buck and introduce you to a new microphone by uhuru so feel free to snag it up links are in the description be sure to follow for more tech tips and tricks and new releases for devices budget devices for all my budget podcasters gamers streamers youtube content creators if this is your kind of thing then you know what to do hit that nice subscribe button and shouts out to uhuru presenters free of charge to share with all my tickets and gamers out there in the world looking to get some kind of budget setup like this but not compromise on even visual aesthetics and quality right rgb audio quality visual aesthetics nice and white multiple colors pretty nice okay all right i'm done with that i'll see you next week what maybe not i don't know next week what's happening next week i'm probably gonna go to work i'm gonna all right i'm shutting up now